I just loaded up on a drone stock ticker UAVS is going to be the stock that we're talking about in today's video. But I also just want to talk about the sector in general, what's going on within this sector. And could UAVS really be a short squeeze play where shorts are really caught up in a situation that's not looking so good for them? There's been a lot of talk with drones lately, drone stocks. We've been trading drone stocks in the Discord. And I overall just want to talk about what's going on with ticker UAVS. And also we will discuss ticker UMAC, which was alerted multiple times in the private Discord initially at 770. And also this morning, telling you guys that this is still the strongest ticker of the day. And it's at $18 now from our 770 entry. So get the, get your 30-day free trial with a link in the top pin comment, guys. Join the private Discord. You really can't miss out on something like that. It's unbelievable if you are not able to at least have that on your radar, you know, under $10 per share. So you got to get in the private Discord as soon as you possibly can. Now... There's been a lot of talk with Elon Musk lately. He's been talking a lot about drones and a, and a lot of Trump's donors have been talking about drones and how they can do pretty much anything. And there's a lot of talk heating up with drones right now. You can see fighter jets are obsolete. Elon Musk calls for drones to take over air combat. And it makes a lot of sense, guys. You know, you have a little drone that can literally go as fast as possible, shoot anything and rush in. Compared to fighter jets, where and, and there, by the way, with the drones, there's no man. You don't have to be manned. On the fighter jets, you have to be in there. You have to be manned. So there's a lot of, lot of, lot of upside potential here with these drone companies, guys. And, you know, they're really starting to take off right now. UAVS is becoming very strong as we speak right now, guys. And could this be a short squeeze play? We'll go ahead and talk about that after we go over a few things here. But first of all, you know, the drone rangers, Trump world declares war on fighter jets are trying to basically come in here and say, you know, you can see several, several high profile billionaires and backers of president elect Trump are waging a public battle against crude aircraft and tanks, arguing that drones can do the job better and more cheaply. That means that the Pentagon could be pointing in a different direction towards drone. Of course, Elon Musk, he's been talking a ton about these drones on Twitter. You know, the F F-35 design is broken, but drones can come in here and do the job much better. You can see drone, you know, Elon Musk responding to a drone comment here, talking about he, how these are going to be the next big thing. You can see that on your screen right there. And also, not only has Elon Musk been mentioning drones significantly lately, venture capital investor Mark Anderson, who donated millions to the Trump campaign, and and he's basically coming out and saying the country that wins the drone war and the technology war underneath that is going on is going to have the best military. If you take 40 men in drones, you can basically do almost anything now. Drones are getting more smart and they're able to operate in, sw in swarms right now. All right. And also you had Donald Trump Jr., Donald Trump's son joined UMAC. So UMAC, this is also one that's probably going to benefit greatly. This could potentially even lead the charge here with the with the uh, drone stocks, if it continues to fly higher, we've been talking about that, like I said in the Discord, since 770 per share, multiple people are alerted that I told you guys 70, 70 per share, it's up 75% today, and that was just alerted, you know, a couple days ago, guys, just, just last trading day. So you may see, this makes it a little bit more serious here when you have Donald Trump Jr., Trump's son, joining as an advisor to a drone company. So definitely guys, you know, you can, you can probably be looking at to, to, you know, potentially hold UMAC for a squeeze as well. And also UAVS is setting up for a squeeze as well. You have 35% short interest on this stock, 35% short interest. If we go to the live short interest, there's zero shares available to, available to borrow right now, 250% cost to borrow on ticker UAVS, and that is accurate. They do have the float accurate here. 4.72 million shares outstanding, 4.35 million free float. They have the market cap correct. They have everything correct on there. And it even shows 30% short interest here on another source. And you can see that's a float. That's outstanding share count. It's looking like to me that that really is truly what the short interest is on this play. And also, if we take a look here, it says authorized shares are capped at 5 million until vote approved 
for increase to 200 million. And that vote is on December 20th. So you have multiple weeks here before UAVS can even dilute because to dilute, you need to have, you know, authorized shares. So the, the outstanding share count right now is 4.72 million. That means they can only dilute up to 5 million outstanding share counts. So they can't dilute right now based on the information that we have right here. They, they're not able to dilute right now for ticker UAVS until December 20th when that meeting comes by and they pass it and then they increase it to 200 million. Then they can dilute up to 200 million. But for now, they can only dilute up to 5 million. And that's when the short interest is at 35%. So we, there could be a situation here, if all these numbers are accurate, where, you know, shorts were really getting in this heavily as this stock was running up. And they didn't really anticipate a whole drone theme coming in where the sun joins a drone company and Elon Musk is tweeting about it like crazy. Billionaires are trying to get Trump to get into this game here, which there's a good chance he probably will be when he has people like Elon in his ear. He has people all over the place that are donors telling him, you know, drones are the next big thing with the U.S. military. You also have UAVS recently invited to the White House, which I found very interesting. They've been dropping a ton of news, uh, appointing directors. They had a 17 new purchase order for their drones from the U.S. defense. We had, you know, they recently regained compliance. They've been talking about, you know, a ton of different things here when it comes to drones and their PRs. So definitely keep an eye on ticker UAVS, guys. I am in ticker UAVS at $6.50. I'll have my stop loss under $5.80. I'm really looking for a squeeze out of this one. There's no guarantee that that is going to happen, but the setup right here is really looking pretty insane. If that is completely accurate, we got the short interest accurate. And of course, we do know that the authorized is capped, so they can't really dilute right now, which means, you know, it could cause a short squeeze setup here as long as the drone theme stays hot right now. And it seems like it's going to based on, you know, we got UMAC still continuing to, to get very hot. We had PRZO, uh, 160% drone stock that ran up today and then we have uavs here that's potentially setting up for a big leg up to potentially over 10 to 15 dollars per share it is possible if this is truly you know that short squeeze data is truly accurate on this one it's going to be interesting guys make sure you drop a like on this video hop in the private discord where umac was covered at 770 we gave a clear you know I gave my clear ads right there. I make it pretty clear what I'm adding, you know, and when I'm taking profit in my swing trade room as well. BSFC, we had like a 60% winner on that. That one happened quicker. But guys, get in the private Discord. You can get a 30-day free trial right now on the private Discord. So you might as well at least try it out. So get in there. Try it out, guys. I'll see you in the Discord. That's it for me. Peace.